Hello again, this is your host Lakota Ravik, and we're going to play Mining Mechs. Uh, it's a fun little mining game that uh, was developed by an indie creator. So we're going to just jump into this. It's like single player and new game, and we're just going to go ahead and make our own name. Okay, after a fun quick little tutorial, getting our first piece of silver, and learning how to control the mech, we're going to Go ahead and just grab some missions here, which first thing we need to do for our main mission is go down 50 meters in depth. And then get level three on our mech and pick up eight pieces of silver pieces of eight, pieces of eight. in one run. So we might have to upgrade our mech first for that. This guy over here, he allows you to get rid of your dirt. So you have a dirt compartment and you have your ore compartment and over here, these are your little extra utilities. This guy right here sells your ore for you. So let's get our first sale. That one piece of ore gave us $200. Not a bad little haul. Make sure you pick up the cash. Wait, coins. This guy right here sells pipes and other things to go down into these mines. So you can put them into mines for a passive income. As you can see right now, we did a little tutorial which allowed us to bring a, mi a pipe down this way and over to the left. And we're currently gaining, looks like two per second, two dollars per second, which is pretty good. So we'll gain a passive income at the same time. There's a lot of these mines dotted around the map that you can connect to. So you just need the pipes and the angles or the 90s in order to go into them. This guy right here, he sells you upgrades. So we can upgrade for $500 for our first level. And that'll give us a point to put into any of these four items here. And then he also sells additional mechs for a lot more. So our first one's gonna be our inventory size once we make enough money. And then finally, this guy right here, Kermit the Frog, sells you items. So he sells you bombs, dynamite, big bombs, to clear out rocks, teleporter, a booster, and confetti. What we're going to try and do is here is strip mine, make some extra money, and then save all the silver, like this down here, for our side mission. Let's get our first haul here out of the way. So we got four tin, valued at 240. They are worth 60 each. And a copper, which is worth 110. So that got us 350 big bucks. We should now be able to, with our passive income, afford our next upgrade. Or I should say our first upgrade. So let's get our first mech level and increase our inventory size. And that is the max I can upgrade it to. So these bubbles are the are the limit. I'm gonna keep on strip mining. Better get to digging. The thing about this game is you always want to make sure you leave yourself room to grab things like this. So I'm not gonna be able to here. If I go down and I can't go across because I got the mine above it. So we're going to have to find a way to get that because you can't drill upwards. You can only drill down to the left to right. So it's important to leave yourself ledges and then a couple of accesses up and down. But case in point, when I start to go after the silver, I've got a ledge here that I can get the silver and then I can go after this treasure down here. So you got to make sure that you have access to those things. I've got another hall here, so let's go. All right, that gave us $750 with our passive, we're up to $1,400. Collect all the goodies. Let's go buy a new upgrade. I'm going to increase our drill power. Cern. And it looks like we've got mech level three available as well. 
So let's get drill power and dirt storage. That way we can drill a little more often. And with that level three, we actually got a side mission done. All right, we got an extra thousand dollars. That's nice. Let's start looking for our silver deposits. There, one there. I think the worst part of this game is having to empty out your dirt on a frequent basis. All right, so we've got one silver there, one there, one there, and one here, so that's four, five, so one right there, number five, and number six, number seven, and number eight. Ah, ah, ah. So we should be able to get all of our silver. So what we're gonna do is just fill up on normal stuff and then get rid of those silver and do that side mission. Wow, that drill upgrade really makes a big difference. All right, that builds us up. I noticed 900, pretty good. We're at, with all that, 2,500. Let's see if we can do another upgrade. All right, 2,000 for the mech level four. And let's increase our drill power one more time. And I think now we're going to save up for the next available mech. And I think we're going to skip the worm and go straight to the snake because four drill power, three inventory, three dirt. That's going to make a, a big difference in our drilling capabilities. So let's go ahead and get all that silver. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. And grab this while we're here. Four, five, six, seven. Grab this cheeky little thing here. And eight. That should get. There it is. That gave us our next side quest done. $1,600 for that. And let's see how much that net us. Eight pieces of silver, 1,600 additional dollars, plus the tool jewelry, which gave us 1,440. Nice little $3,000 day. Make sure to always pick up the coins and money bags. Say, so, we're up to 5,500. Well on our way to the 15,000 we need for the next upgrade. All right, so let's check out some new missions. We've got 1337 treasures and a new mech. All right, 1337 treasures, we have to go to coordinates X13, Y37, which are these coordinates up here. X being left to right, Y being up and down. And a new mech, obviously, just buy a new mech. Like, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Just drilling straight down on the X13. And filled up. Head back up, drop this off. Coming up on the 37. There it is. Little guy right there. Treasure map. Alright, so we choose Q and E to select the map. There it is. And then F to activate it. And it shows us a little dotted line where to go. I don't know if I want to keep going that way. We're going to go this way. Try and pick up some stuff on the way and leave us some ledges while we can. All right, we just happened to reach our 50 meter depth. We got, we got $500 and a small bomb for doing it. Grab this last piece of ore and go back up and then we'll continue on for that treasure chest. Okay, I was just told also that we need to reach 100 meter depth and get 10 regular ore, which I'm assuming is copper and tin. So. There it is. Treasure chest we've been tasked to find. Let's get this back up the surface and see what that's worth. Whoa! Okay, that treasure chest was worth $2,800. We are well on our way to get our our new mech. That's $35.57 for that haul. And let's work on getting 10 regular ores. A little strip mining. 
If you don't know what strip mining is, you go left and right and go down when you absolutely need to. Because that way you got areas to work with. And in this game, if you don't have a ledge, you don't have a way to get up and down. It's the only way to get ores is from the sides. Okay, that's a silver ore. I'm going to leave that alone. I've got tin. I want to get in this map and just like clear up the entire thing. Might be that for a video is just take out the dirt from the entire map. Be like that. I have to go this way and this way to get this item over here. Because if you can't stand on it, you can't drill it. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that piece of junk. Right, I'll grab this. And sell all this stuff up. Hey. Right. On that hall, we're really close. Do not grab any extras. Okay, I've got three tin, three copper. So I've got five tin and five copper, and I did not get an update. Okay, that didn't count. So it's regular or, well, let's see here. If we press M, we can actually see what's available here. So you have tin, copper, silver. I assume that's probably gold. There's gonna be some other things. Yep. Trash, jewelry, treasures, ooh. Treasure can get up to 7,500. Nice. I'm wondering if tin is regular ore, so I'll have to collect 10 units of tin, which might take some time. But we're almost to the new mech. We're at 14,775. So we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds and grab the new mech. All right, and just like that, with the power of editing and the bathroom break later, we're at 15,000, so we're gonna buy that new mech. Purchase mech. All right, we got the snake mech. We got 5,000 for doing that side mission. So let's get our first upgrade. Mech level one, two, three, four. And let's get inventory size, dirt storage, drill power, and another inventory size. That way we can collect a lot more. Look at this thing. It's a wrench on a crane. What is this? It looks like bad guy from a, another video game of some kind. I'm sure that probably unlocked another side mission, so let's go find out what that is. Max it out. So basically I need to upgrade a mech till it's maxed out, which is probably going to be easiest on the first mech. So we'll just save up some money and we'll try and max out the, the original mech. Let's see how this thing does. I'm going to go look for that 10 tin ore and see if that does the trick. This thing is so weird looking. Okay, so no copper. What in the world? It comes out of it like it's a mouth. This makes no sense. Okay, so we're just gonna go after tin ore only. Get ten tin ore and see if that does that trick. Nope, not going for that one. Let's see, we're up to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more, which is right over here. That's ten tenor. And that still didn't get us a prompt. What's normal ore? So that's ten tenors. Now, they normally go for 60. So if, he, if I sell this, I should get 120 for the batch of ten. Nope. Absolutely not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we got nine copper. That's number ten. Let's see if that does it. Nope, no prompt. Still didn't get any extra. What is normal ore in this game? All right, we're gonna upgrade mech level five for this and increase its dirt storage. And once we get the last one, which is three thousand dollars worth, in about five hundred dollars we'll be able to give our flight speed and get rid of that last side mission.
All right, there's the 3,000 we need. Max out the flight speed and move back to this one. There's 5,000 for upgrades. Nice. Let's get two more levels on the snake. Increase the drill power and the dirt storage. Let's keep drilling out this thing. And we just got another side mission to get a $10,000 payday. Basically bring up enough materials for $10,000. So that would be at least 10 silver ores. Because there were, no, $10,000 payday. Ooh, we have to find bigger ores. That means deeper and deeper. That's what she said. <laughs> I think with that, I'm going to cut this short today. We're going to keep going down deeper later on. And please come back for more. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you leave me a comment and tell me how I'm doing. Because I really want to know. But I want to keep this video a little bit shorter. So that way, I'm not overwhelming you guys like I have been. All right. Thank you for stopping in. This is Lakota Ravik signing off. You have a good day. You're welcome, buddy.